Let's do this question. Part A says, find the product of 84 and 7. Now we know there is a key word in this sentence and that is going to be product. Now what is the product? Well, the product is the answer you're going to get when you multiply two numbers. So all we're going to do to find the product of 84 and 7 is we're just going to multiply 84 by 7. So we can set this up as 84 multiplied by 7. 7 times 4 is going to give us 28. So we're going to write 8 and carry the 2. Now we have 7 times 8 and 7 times 8 is going to give us 56. 56 plus 2 is going to give us 58. Therefore, the product of 84 and 7 is going to be 588. This is our answer. Now for part B, it says divide 2,214 by 3. So what are we doing? We're going to be dividing. So this word right here tells us everything we need to know to solve this problem. Now, how should we set this up? Since it says we're dividing 2,214 by 3, we know that's going to look like this. We have 2,214 divided by 3. Therefore, 3 is going to be the divisor and 2,214 is going to be the dividend. Let's use long division. So when we set this up, we know 3 is the divisor. And we have 2,214. So 3 can go into 2 0 times. 3 times 0 is 0. We subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. So we're going to bring down this 2. Now 3 can go into 22 7 times. 3 times 7 is 21. And we subtract. 2 minus 1 is going to give us 1. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So we're going to bring down this 1. 3 can go into 11 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. When we subtract this, we know 11 minus 9 is going to give us 2. We're going to bring down the last digit, which is 4. 3 can go into 24 8 times. 3 times 8 is 24. And when we subtract this, 4 minus 4 is 0. And 2 minus 2 is 0. Therefore, the division part is now complete. So we got the answer 738. We do not have to write the 0. So in the answer space provided, we're just going to write 738. And 38. Now for part C, it says find the sum of your answers from part A and part B. Now you might be wondering what are we doing here? But the question gives you one keyword, and that keyword is sum. Now what is the sum? We know the sum is going to be the answer when you add two or more numbers. Therefore, they want us to add the answer from part A and the answer from part B, and that's going to be our sum. So we can set this up as 588, which is the answer from part A, plus 738, which is the answer from part B. And when we add this, we're going to get the sum. 8 plus 8 is 16. We're going to write the 6 and carry the 1. 1 plus 8 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, so we're going to put the 2, carry the 1. Now we have 1 plus 5, that's going to give us 6. 6 plus 7 is going to give us 13. Therefore, our answer for this problem is going to be 1,326.